still missing tonight, Jacob Wetterling, age 11. This was one more day of agony for St. Joseph, Minnesota, population 3,200. The kind of place where you don't expect a child to be kidnapped at gunpoint. NBC's Dan Molina. It looked like a happy enough Halloween party, but this is a time of very real fear for the people of St. Joseph, and this song is their one source of comfort. It's Jacob Wetterling's favorite. The search for the boy has been massive. It's the most feared type of abduction, one by a complete stranger, no ransom note, no contact. This is where it happened, less than a mile from Jacob's house. It's back over that way. Jacob, his little brother, and one other boy had gone to a convenience store to rent a videotape. When they reached this spot, they saw the man dressed in black holding the gun. Jacob's brother, Trevor. He told us to put our bikes in the ditch and lay down, and then we did that. He asked them their ages. Jacob answered 11, and these two boys were then told to run away. This entire community and several surrounding towns are helping in the search for Jacob and comforting his family. His mother, Patty, deeply moved by the prayers offered at this weekend vigil. He'll be home soon. Yeah, he had to feel that, you guys. He's coming home soon. It, it was instant panic. I mean, we were but in touch with it right away. I truly believed he'd be, he'd be back by morning. I just, I couldn't, I can't fathom this. Day after day, Jacob's song is sung and played here. Each day that brings hope also brings another day of, of loneliness and fear. Two days ago, there was a sighting of a man with a boy who looked like Jacob. Since then, nothing. Dan Molina, NBC News, St. Joseph, Minnesota.